Hi guys, Mary Lil here to do our Jesus is Born Holy Moly curriculum. Sorry, it was moving on me here. I'm sitting upstairs today in my loft because I wanted you guys to see my Christmas tree. Part of Christmas, Jesus' birthday, is lights. And why do you think we put lights on our Christmas tree? And why the controversy is, what do you put on the top of your tree? An angel or a star? Well, I always used to have an angel, but now I have a star. You can see it up there. I think a star because, well, Jesus, the shepherds, and the three kings used a star to guide them to Bethlehem to where Jesus was laid. You saw in the Holy Moly video how the shepherds followed the light, the glorious light, to find Jesus in the stable. What do you think they were surprised about? First of all, I got to talk about the angels. Oh my gosh, that was so funny how that one shepherd was just so afraid of the angels. And you know, I'm, I'm sure they were very afraid of the angels. I mean, there they are out with their flock. You know, that, that's what shepherds do. They take care of their flock, their sheep, make sure that um, other wolves and stuff don't come in and kill them, eat them. They also get them water and food and take care of them. And something from the curriculum that I learned was that shepherds were very like lowly. They were banned from synagogues and churches because they stunk really bad. They didn't bathe. And it's interesting that God chose the angels to come to the shepherds to share the good news first. This is about God, Christ the King, God's Son. And he could have gone to the high priest with this information. He could have gone to much more important people, but he chose the shepherds. And they said that was due to God's grace for the shepherds and he gave them this very very important information and they went and found Jesus and they shared the news pretty soon everyone found out about it very very interesting and very loving on God's part to choose his shepherds and I, I really thought that was a cool part of the story but they asked us to look at where do we find lights this time of year and why do you think? Um, I think for me, Christ is the light of the world. And the light also that appeared um, with the star in the story. But people use lights at church. We have them everywhere. Don't forget candles are lights. Our advent calendar or calendar wreath or advent wreath. Advent calendar is where you get the little chocolates and the little cardboard thing. I'm talking about the Advent wreath. We have four candles on that. And do you guys know what each candle represents? Um, I sent you guys the little Advent wreath craft, so you, you should know. Um, but we have that at church. We have the beautiful lights that come down the aisle that Pam puts up every year. They're beautiful. We have lights on our houses. We have lights on our wreaths. We have lights on trees. We have lights... Um, people put them in their yard. Some people get crazy and they put it with the music. There's lights everywhere this time of year. Yes, and there is a light on Rudolph's nose. But we know that Jesus is the reason for the season. Not Santa and not gifts. But we give gifts because God gave us the best gift, which was his son, Jesus. It is Jesus' birthday. That's another reason we celebrate with gifts. Um, another thing I learned was Bethlehem means, hold on, I got to look at my notes again, something about bread. Let's see, Bethlehem, let me find it, means house of bread. And it's also where prophet Micah foretold that a ruler would be born. And the only reason, if you remember, Mary and Joseph they had to leave their home and go to Bethlehem because of the Roman census. So that's the only reason they were in Bethlehem. There was no room for them, so they had to go to a barn or a stable. And Jesus was in a manger. Because a manger is like a eating trough for animals, you know? It's not a fancy thing. 
and they laid hay in there, and that's where Jesus was. The Son of God was born very humbly in a manger. Um, angels, powerful, unearthly messengers, usually feared by God's people. Well, holy moly, did a great job demonstrating how they were afraid. That one angel just kept screaming. And usually when angels appear, their first words to humans are, do not be afraid. Well, I guess I can see why. I'll be honest. If I saw an angel, I think I would be shocked or afraid as well. So we are going to look at that craft quickly. One thing I guys want to tell you, when you cut out the craft, I almost made this mistake. You have to cut on the blue lines, which are the like the V shape that comes out, not on these dotted lines. I almost did that and cut off my tab. You can see right here, I almost cut that off. So don't do that, just on the blue lines. Then you fold it on the green lines and you open it up and then you, you poke it with either a pin and I use, and now I can't find it, I used a paper clip that I opened up and it was safer for me and I just kind of held it tight and poked it. But if that's hard for you guys, you could get like a cutting board and lay it down um, or some thicker paper underneath it and then just take your pen and just poke the patterns in there, okay? Then you glue it together, or you tape it, or you could probably paste it, but I just taped it like this so it makes like um, a triangle shape at the top. And you tape the bottom, and then you just put one piece of tape on the side here. And then it says to use a flashlight, but I have these little fairy lights like this, and I just use those and plunk that in there. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can show you over here. 